Mikey coming here again. I got a beautiful GNL ASAT classic. So this is a guitar that I picked up off a musician's friend. They were having the deal of the day and I just couldn't resist. Uh, I love Telecasters and I've, I've known for a long time that these guys put out great guitars. Little history, um, GNL is actually Leo Fender, I guess is the L. And uh, two other guys, they created the GNL brand. So um, it's been around for, for, for quite a while, and um, they do make great guitars. And I'm, I'll give you a look at this one and kind of go over it, and I'm going to play it for you as well as I'm going to compare it to a Mexican-made Fender Telecaster. So let me give you a look at it here. So you've got the slight variation here on the headstock, but you can see it's the GNL. ASAT Classic. I've tried to figure out what ASAT stand for, but I don't know. Maybe somebody can comment on it. Made in Indonesia, of course. Um, solid tuners. Really nice neck. It, it feels really smooth, clean. Um, it, it just feels all like a Strat or a Tele. Um, and it, it's not one of the big round Tele necks. It's uh, one of the newer models. Um, great frets on it. And um, so standard pick guard. And I measured these because I was going to replace this pick guard. The, these, the, it, it's its own standard size. Um, they do have the brass uh, kind of bridge pieces here. And um, you can see right there, it even says ASAT Classic on there. Um, I, to be honest, I do feel that my Mexican Telecaster sounds better. It just has more of what I want out of a, just a straight out of the case, straight from the store guitar. Um, but this thing is, I mean, it play. It is, it is kind of heavy. It feels a little heavier. Maybe this is just this type of wood, which you can see. I mean, it's got some some weird things in the wood, but whatever. Um, I, I like I like guitars to get old and beat up. They just they seem like they sound better that way. But I want to play it for you so you can hear it. Um, and then, like I said, I want to compare it so you can get an idea um, what you're dealing with here. So I'm playing through a little low wattage VHT combo and I've got a Pigtronic Class of Boost with a big thick reverb. I tuned down a whole step, so that means my ESD helps my singing. And uh, I'm gonna start here on the back pickup. <laughs>
Guitar-loving friends, there you have it, the GNL ASAT Classic. Great guitar, sounds great. It does definitely, just standing up next to a Mexican Telecaster, my old faithful here, it definitely has a different sound. It's not as it's not as hot, but it does for me. I could hear I could hear some things that I couldn't hear on my telly, and um, it, it just. I imagine it's just a preference. Like there's probably some things that this sounds better on than that. Um, but for my style of music, this is my go-to, man. This thing is just, it's got the dirt that I want and it's got the clean that I need. It's, it's just got a little bit of everything. This one as well, I do think there's some tuning issues. I, I struggle with uh, the G string here, which is an F in my case. I, it, it, it is kind of, it's a little shoddy. It, it just, just it, it just won't stay. And these are these are reasonably new strings, and and I did notice something else that these saddle screws that in the beginning when I first started playing they would just loot lower themselves, and, and so it'd be kind of wonky on one side. And uh, I I can't remember how I fixed that. I think I just played with it long enough to create enough tension so that it's on. Um, but yeah, the, I do like the brass the brass saddles there um but you know if you're if you're in the market and you see a good deal on these i think i paid 3.99 for this so um i know that's not far from what they retail at but uh you know i do love telecasters i have quite a few different brands if you're interested if you find one if you see one if you're checking this out to go should i buy one yes it's a great guitar man it's a great guitar um, please subscribe, man. I've got a lot of guitar reviews on here. I've got a few lessons. I'm starting to do more and more lessons. Um, you can check me out. Getjanky.com. Um, this is my newest CD called Hill Country Foot Stomp. I play a version of blues that is uh, from North Mississippi, Holly Springs, and that's it. it's a, it's a very rhythmic style of music. Again, it's called Hill Country Blues. You can check out guys like R.L. Burnside or Jesse Mayhem Hill or somebody like that. And uh, I'm playing foot drums on this as well. So I'm about to do a foot drum video on how to play foot drums and all the different variations of that within. Please subscribe. Check me out. Getjanky.com. G-E-T-J-A-N-K-Y.com. Getjanky.com. I'm here in Austin, Texas. Things are opening back up. Starting to book some gigs, playing gigs, having fun. So check me out if you're down in Texas or maybe I might be over in Mississippi and Clarksdale. But uh I love playing guitar. I have so much fun doing it. It's such a great thing in my life. I'm so blessed to be able to do this. Uh, 
the most important thing about this though is is when you're just always make sure that you're having fun doing this because you gotta have fun playing the guitar.